Fitness, LA Fitness, baby. This is where the magic happens. So today I'm gonna be hitting chest and back. I like doing a 12 week program. I ain't gonna lie, it gets a little boring, you know. I'm one of the people I love to, uh, I love to train, I love to work out. I love to test myself. I love challenges. I love new things. So when a, a, a program, is, you know, is getting old to me, like it's time for me to do something different. But for you beginners out there and you people that are actually training for something, it's good to follow a program on a regular basis. You know, the whole program is set to, uh, as a progression to uh, get you better and get you prepared for whatever it is you're training for. That's the whole purpose of the program. So anyways, a lot of people ask me that. Why do you train? If you're not training for anything, why are you in the gym? Why do you work out? Why do you, why do you, why, why are you here? I do man this, this is my life i love being in the gym i love the environment the people but anyway i'll be hitting chest and biceps today i'm gonna start with some pull-ups i always love doing pull-ups no matter what area of my body i'm working out if it's full body if it's upper body lower body if it's uh supersets circuits i always either try to superset with pull-ups or try to start my routine with a couple sets of pull-ups i just love doing pull-ups i just remember a time when I couldn't even do about, you know, four or five pull-ups. I couldn't even do two pull-ups. Just anytime, anytime I, I do pull-ups, it takes me back to that, it takes me back to the place to where, you know, I kind of remember that time when I couldn't really do any pull-ups. And I just feel like, you know, I've accomplished something because I can do pull-ups all day now. Plus it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's something that not everybody can do. There's people that can push weight, but they can't pull their body up. I would encourage anybody fit or not, a pretty good goal to set for yourself, to be able to do 10 pull-ups. So today I'll be doing bench on the barbell. Um, I mostly do, I mostly use the dumbbells. And the reason why I mostly use dumbbells is because I, I prefer working each side individually. So my focus is always to make sure my body's balanced on both sides. So that's my legs, that's my arms, that's my, you know, any type of stabilization, routine. You know, it's all about the overall aspect of it. You know, I don't want to just be in here just moving weight. I want to be able to move it, control it, and stabilize it. So that's what I, I try to focus on when I do my routines in the gym. But I wanted, what I want to do today is kind of do like a, it depends on if it's available, if the, if the squat rack is available in here. Because I want to set the safeguards at a low angle so that I can do a, um, I have press so that I can work on my sticking points. You know, some people's sticking points are right by their chest. You know, they go down too low with a certain amount of weight and they get stuck. Some people's sticking sticking points are like a quarter, a quarter of the way down. So doing this, you know, helps you improve your power. So what you do is you adjust the safeguards to where the safeguards are a couple inches above your chest so that way the bar is at your chest. So what this does is it helps you increase power and strength as you push out of your sticking point. When you're working with a quarter press, you're pushing with as much force as possible at your weakest point. And what that allows is for you to build and improve your, your power and strength through that threshold. So I want to incorporate that for the day. If not, then I just do flat bench. And then I'll probably do about uh, Two, maybe three machines depending on how I feel and then I'll do some uh, some bicep stuff and my whole goal today is to work about 70 I'll probably start at like 70% of my max work to up about 85% of my max what is my max I have no idea I haven't maxed out in a long time um, I know at my strongest uh, which is about two years ago I was uh, I was benching on the incline, um, about, let's see, 315, 15. I was doing, a, I think the most I ever did was a 365 for about three or four reps without a spot. And on the bench, um, about, let's see, 415, 425, about 435 on a flat bench for about, you know, five reps without a spot. So, um, I'm not gonna use that as a guide, but uh, and then on my biceps, um, I'll be working, you know, high volume, 
you know, it's just something to get a nice little pump on there. I don't really do much for my arm system to get a little pump in there. So about three to four exercises, finish off with some stretching, some foam rolling, um, and that's about it. That'll be it for today.
one thing I wanted to talk about, I was in the gym and um, the guy came up to me and asked me about a certain exercise that I was doing, you know, the whole purpose of me doing the exercise that way, and I kind of broke it down to him, and then afterwards, he asked me if, if I believe that steady state cardio is, um, is beneficial. Or do I believe that high intensity interval training is better? Um, or do I believe that doing circuits are better? You know, what, what is my input on it? And I basically told him it depends on the individual. You know, there is anaerobic, which is more like um, strength training. And then there is aerobic exercise that is focused more on weight loss. It's, you know, doing some type of cardiovascular endurance training at a steady pace for a long period of time, long periods of time in order to um, burn fat but the problem with doing that all the time is you not only burn fat you burn you lose muscle but if you combine the two it is beneficial and this is something a lot of bodybuilders do that's why you see a lot of bodybuilders they'll separate their cardio they'll do their cardio um, in the morning and come in in the evening and you know do their weightlifting or so there are some that do it um, in the morning there's some that do it in the evening there's some that combine the two they do it on the same day but um, again it all depends on the individual there's been studies on this topic on, on, on the, if it's beneficial or not and one study that I was reading to determine if the individuals that combine their cardio with their strength training had any loss of performance versus the ones that broke their cardio and their strength strength training apart. Now, as far as the anaerobic and aerobic exercises, they were all the same exercise. And the study showed that the individuals that broke, um, that separated their cardio and their strength training apart um, had an increase in performance while the other group, the other two groups, had a loss in performance.